Hello fellow passive income investors. Today it's another video where I'm going to bring you an update on Yelmax, a new ETF uh, that they just uh, released and these are two ETFs that I'm going to talk in uh, in details about them and we're going to look at the chart, we're going to look at uh, the, 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 the trading day when they were released and expected day that they're going to pay dividend and how much they're going to pay. These are kind of things I'm, um, you know, these are kind of things I always talk on this channel, and uh, and that's why it's very important for you, um, you know, if it's your first time to just make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be giving you update on all the uh, 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 ETFs that are coming in, into market, and also if there's any changes in your um, uh, dividends or distribution, so you kind of be aware of that. So we're going straight to start with the first uh, the first fund. Uh, but before we go, um, I've talked about ARC, I've talked about uh, Tesla, Apple, um, NVIDIA, uh, Amazon, Facebook, Google, and Netflix, and Connie, which I did that video uh, 10 days ago, uh, a week ago. Um, and then today there's Microsoft and Disney, or the MSFO and Disney. These are the two I'm going to discuss in detail. So let's start with Microsoft first, because this is the first one. And by the way, this is what we've been waiting for a long time. And I personally really wanted to have Microsoft a long time ago, but eventually today I'm really excited to announce that they uh, came up with it. So we'll um, start with Microsoft. We look at the Microsoft here. Um, the ticker symbol is MSFO or Yelmax Microsoft Option Income Strategy. Same as usual, uh, Yelmax uh, Microsoft Option Income Strategy is an active managed fund that seeks to generate monthly income by selling, writing, or call options on Microsoft. Uh, MSO, MSFO pursues strategies that aim to harvest a compelling yield while retaining captive participation in price gains of Microsoft. I've explained what that means uh, in other videos. If you want to know more about the, how they uh, write a call and strategy like that, you can watch other videos I've explained in that on the, in, in those uh, previous videos. Um, but the main thing here, we look at the fund objective of this Microsoft because this is very important. As you know, Microsoft is one of the biggest uh, companies and oh, being pretty much the first one, right? You know, I think there's the Apple and then Microsoft, you know, the, the top, top uh, when it comes to market capitalization. So we look at the investment objective. The fund primary uh, investment objective is to um, to seek, of course, income or to generate income for you, passive income investor. And the fund's secondary investment objective is to seek exposure of share price on common share of Microsoft. So instead of you investing in Microsoft itself, you can just have uh, this fund which you're going to have exposure to Microsoft. So you get two things. First, you get a dividend and also you get exposure to Microsoft where you're going to get a Microsoft that goes up. Of course, you're going to gain, but there's that capped where it's going to cap to the gain where you you will stop to a certain point if they sell those calls right and that's the thing that's the second one um we look at this uh fund here microsoft right now net asset value is at three million because it just came out uh, actually um the, the, on friday last week and it's been on the market for about three days um we look at the share outstanding is 150 150 000. Um, premium uh, discount right now is 0.14. Um, closing price is 20. We'll look more on the price and the chart. Um, look at the fund uh, inception date. It came on the 24th of uh, August. Today is 29, so it's been on the market for about three days uh, because, of course, the weekend. It came out on the th Thursday pretty much, uh, evening and off. So the trading, the first trading day was on Friday. But that was, of course, um, you know, uh, a short day, you know, Friday, then we had Monday and Tuesday. So it's been on market for about three days. Um, but um, um, and of course, the ticker symbol where it's traded is traded on uh, New York Stock Exchange. You can see here NYCE, NYSE or ARC, ARC uh, invest. Uh, that's the way it's traded. So that's pretty important because they trade on the biggest exchange, which is really good. Um, you know, if we look at distribution, of course, there's no distribution right now, but I'm going to give you details on distribution uh, in a little bit and look at the holdings. Of course, it's 100% Microsoft because these are uh, one fund ETF, meaning they only hold one stock. So this, in this case, is Microsoft. And of course, the way they do, they do uh, synthetic cover call writing where they actually don't hold the stock itself. They do synthetically to write those calls. I've explained that. If you want more details, you can check my other video that I made. I talk a lot about that. 
So that's Microsoft. Before we go on the chart and see how much Microsoft has been traded, we can go right away to um, to another one, which is uh, Disney, right? Uh, we look at the Disney, the ticker symbol is D-I-S-O, which is DISO. Yield Max Disney Option Income Strategy is a pretty much a same thing. Strategy here, um, strategy, of course, it's a writing. Uh, it's active managed, which you write calls to generate those passive income. And the main uh, two objective, same as Microsoft, of course, the first objective is to seek the income, to generate the income for you, passive income investor, so you can make that uh, monthly uh, monthly income, you know, monthly cash flow coming to you. While the second objective is while you have exposure to uh, to Disney uh, stock. And we're going to look at the Disney stock, how it's been performing uh, recently. Um, when we look at the fund itself, we come down here. It was also incepted on the same date, uh, which was the 24th, which was last Thursday, or it came out on Friday as a trading day. Um, and it also is trading uh, a New York Stock Exchange. That's the main exchange where it's traded. Uh, but of course, you can buy on any other brokerage. It's just the main exchange is a New York Stock Exchange, same, in, same as Microsoft or Apple, you know, they're on NASDAQ. Uh, we look at the NAV, net asset value right now is a uh, you know 20 and then it has 2.54 million because they're pretty new so you would expect that much that's only money they they accumulated so far and these come from uh you know of course a lot of uh mainly uh more of um you know investors just like you and i um we look at the closing price was 20 right now and we look at uh gross expense ratio is 0.89 and we look at the Microsoft, of course, Microsoft also is 0.99. So that's like how much they're going to charge you when you invest in this one. So, and I've explained, I made a video explaining how they charge these uh, fees. So you have to understand Microsoft, when it comes to uh, yield max, all their funds, which right now they are, you know, Arc, Tesla, Apple, Nvidia, Amazon, Facebook, Google, uh, Netflix, and uh, Coinbase and Microsoft, Disney, all of them, they all charge 0.99, which is about 1%. So that's kind of things that you have to keep in mind. So pretty much 0.99 is like, let's say, for example, if you have uh, $10,000, that's about $99 per year. So it's very little. Uh, if you have 100,000, I mean, you pay, you know, you pay very little. So it's not big, big amount of money. You know, it's a little bit high end in terms of uh, other regular ETF because you can only pay 0 0.05 or something like that, for example, the uh, VOO. But you have to understand you're getting uh, the yield of like 69, 32, 41. That's a huge dividend. So let's say, for example, 41.02. If you're getting that annually and then you're paying uh, 1%, that means you still get 40% in yield. So that's a big difference between these ones and other regular type of uh, ETFs that you charge you very little because these are specific um these are specific type of etfs or one fund etfs and that's why they charge more because there's more work to do more, more work to do or being done to make sure these are floating you know float in the market and everything like that so now we've uh, seen a uh, microsoft uh, we've also seen uh disney uh, let's look at the actual stocks themselves and the, the trading day. We look at the, the ticker symbol, of course, is if you look at the New York Stock Exchange today, that's a say delay price, current, it's 2051. And after market, it went up to 4%. So that's a pretty good. And you can see the previous closing was 2020. Open is 2026 and a 52 week. He, of course, he opened at $20 and he went up to 2051. So how do you invest it? uh when it opened when it came to the market inception day on thursday or even yesterday uh you 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 are up right now at 51 cents uh look at the volume it's very little it's only 31 uh, 38 000, but you have to understand these are very new so they are not very popular they are not known by many people um you know pretty much you're watching this video it might be the first time you're watching and you know uh, you are aware of this so the volume is still very low um you know this is expected uh we look at the but let's look at the microsoft stock itself if we look at the microsoft stock we look at this this is microsoft right look at the volume of microsoft 26 million that's a huge 
right um one two three four five six seven eight that's a 26 million uh, volume you know uh that's how reason or oh, of course this one the, the the stock itself microsoft itself um the stock is traded on nasdaq exchange that doesn't matter too much where it's traded the most important thing is to be liquid so we whether you have microsoft stock or whether you have um uh title trust yield max um they're all very liquid and you can buy and sell at any moment you wish um we look at the microsoft actually year to date look at that it, it has gone up uh we look at the it was it was about 230 uh 239 a year ago right uh, january january 3rd but today is about uh 329 so he has gone up way massively and um based on analysis on this microsoft itself is a company that's keep doing the uh of course uh, a lot of uh you know uh ai and all that stuff like that so we are expecting microsoft to go way way higher because it was higher at one point and it came down a little bit but now it's going almost to where it, it, it was uh just in 20 november 1st 2021 so it's about the highest it went was 330 but right now is at 328 so it's almost coming back to where it was uh five-year chart we look at the five-year chart microsoft is just trajectory going up we look at one year chart of course it's going up we look at year to date it's still going up so microsoft is one of the company that you cannot go wrong with it and because not just because uh, the name itself is because what they're doing right now they're involving is one of the leading company when it comes to ai or artificial intelligence you know the you know um chat gpt and all that stuff like that so they are the leading one of the top leading actually i can say the first one and also um the google but the number one right now is microsoft when it comes to ai and also they have this storage right you know same as um amazon and google when it comes to storage where they charge you to store your data microsoft is one of the leading company and they keep building these ones not only for regular investor but also for uh corporation government and you know the the you know the big um the big even the pentagon whatever is store things from uh using microsoft storage so they are growing that business you know not only uh corporation but also individually right so it's a pretty uh good company to own um so where they can own the stock but if you're a passive income investor i think uh, uh the, you know um yield max having this it's a pretty good because you are hoping to get that uh, growth but also to get that yield that i'm going to reveal how much i'm expecting them to be paying so let's look at the title trust yield max disney option income strategy first before we go into actual stock itself we look at the um, the price is 2047 and after market it goes to it goes at 54 uh, 54 cents more which equal to two uh two and uh 0.64 percent up after hours so we'll see if he's gonna stick to that but we look at the volume like it's a four thousand today four thousand very little because it's disney stock uh and we look at the average volume is thirteen thousand uh thirteen thousand two hundred um we look at the uh, when he opened we look at uh 52 week range is about 2015 which is only been in the market for two days uh, as i say for three days so there's not much really to look into graph but so far he oh it was at it was at 20 uh 20 or 6 and is a 20 uh, 47 so you pretty much have gain if you invested from the beginning or even if you invested on friday or even monday yesterday so it's going up and it's it tends to be going up right now so it's a pretty good so the other thing with about disney they actually you know they're disney plus they don't make as much money as they thought and they're losing a lot of money uh of course to netflix because netflix is leading where they make money is their theme park they make a lot of money on theme park but when it comes to they're losing about 500 million dollar in their in the uh, quarterly in their streaming so they don't make money they it's a business that they are you know uh it's gonna be hard for them to compete and because of that a stock has been uh really punished he's been really going down look at this if you look at the chart um we we'll look at the chart five year look it was at 1.180 189 look at that it's just downtrending right you know it's a pretty bad 
look at the max we look at that at one point it was 181 now it's like way down there and it hasn't been doing really good because volume but we know that the volume is about 15 million so it, it has a high volume which is a pretty good when it comes to um uh sell and writing calls because we need volume because those volume make sure stock is more volatile and that way managers of yield max uh, title trust they'll be able to write and sell those calls uh, very often and that way they generate more income for passive income investors like you and I which is pretty good we look at um, you know that's it that's the stock itself you know so what yield do you think I would expect it based on the volume based on what we know we look at other uh, ETFs like if we look at um, we look at uh, OARK, which is very volatile. We look at Tesla, it's very volatile. We look at Apple, Nvidia. Apple, Nvidia, um, they are more uh, peers to Microsoft. So, because of this, and their volume is uh, pretty much kind of close to Apple and Microsoft, I would uh, most likely assume that uh, the yield on Microsoft will be about between 35 to 40 or more than that. And when it comes to Disney, it's a pretty much um, the same. So between the two of them, we're expecting to get about 40%, let's say, uh, give or take about 40, between 35 to 40%. Um, it can be a more based on their initial, maybe initial uh, when they make money, uh, the, it can go up to 50, but uh, I would um, assume it will stick between 30, a high 30s, uh, mid 30s to um, mid 40. That's it. It's not going to be like a Tesla because Tesla is more of ex exceptional because Tesla has a lot of volume and is very volatile stock. And same as Arc, which is Cathy Wood uh, ETF, is very volatile. So there you have it. Uh, we've talked about Microsoft. So Yield Max has added two more ETFs, and these ETFs are Microsoft and Disney. And also, if you want to know the strategy on how they write calls and things like that, I made a video, look at the first video on uh, Tesla. I explained that. And expectation of the yield will be between 30, between uh, mid 30%, like a 30% to um, to lower 40. So it'll be about 42, 35 to 42. That's yield you're going to get on Microsoft and Disney. And when are they going to pay? So the stock was, uh, inception date was on the, um, 24 of august so it, it takes about a month because this is a question someone asked when are they going to pay so usually they take a month they have to generate those income first you know and then after that they're going to look at this is how much we've made and then they're going to pay so if you buy these stocks right now these etfs you're not going to expect a dividend in um you your first dividend will be not in september the first dividend will be in october October, whenever they're going to pay uh, the same day that they're going to pay um, dividend on on the, these ones. And the date, I'll tell you the exact date where they're going to pay. So the date will be, um, look at where they pay last last dividend here. So the date declaration date, or the, when they pay last dividend was in August uh, 14th. So between October 14th, that's exactly when you're going to uh, expect the first pay from those two which is microsoft and disney there you have it if you have any question just make sure you leave your question below and if you like my content just make sure you hit the thumb up and if it's your first time just make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss uh, update on new etfs on dividends and distribution and anything related to your money that's it. Thank you for watching. Till we meet again. Bye-bye.